am Arjun and in this video we will learn how to configure PhonePay Gateway on JustPay dashboard. For this configuration you will need Salt Key 1, Salt Key 2, Merchant ID, Key Index 1 and Key Index 2 from PhonePay. If you have a use case for card transactions please make sure to get public key and public key ID as well from your phone pay account manager to start with the configuration please navigate to pg control center under ec operations please click on other gateways option and enter phone pay and select the option as you can see a pop-up appears asking to select the environment to configure phone pay credentials Please click on Live Credentials and then proceed. Selecting Live Credentials makes sure that you will be able to test all the payment options using real payment methods. So for the configuration, there are majorly three steps involved. Add Gateway, Payment Method Configuration and Summary. The first step is assign, assigning gateway reference ID under the add gateway option. So gateway reference ID is required only if you have a use case of multiple lines of business. To know more about gateway reference ID, please watch our dedicated video on the gateway reference ID. Uh, in this case, I will proceed without entering a gateway reference ID. In this step, you will require to add all the credentials which you have got from PhonePay. If you don't have it handy, please reach out to your PhonePay account manager to get the details. So please enter Sol Key 1, Sol Key 2, Merchant ID. Please make sure to enable the PhonePay PG integration uh, toggle button then key index 1 and key index 2 is there if such an id is not provided by your phone pay account manager you can enter the values 1 and 2 as of now if you have a use case for card transaction please make sure to add public key and public key id as well then click proceed to continue in the third step that is save the gateway you will see a synopsis of all the credentials you have entered in the previous step. Please review the same and then you can click on proceed to add payment methods. Please note that once you proceed to the next step, you will not be able to come back and edit the credentials which were entered in the previous step. So if you have a use case of entering or editing the details, you will have to configure a new gateway option. The next step is adding the payment methods. So you will have to enable all the payment methods that has been configured at your phone pay gateway end. To get the uh, to get all the payment methods, please reach out to your phone pay account manager. Please make sure to add only those payment methods which are enabled at phone pay enabling any other option will result in failure du during transaction. So I am enabling a few as an example. As you can see on screen, there is an option called advanced feature where you will be able to enable e-mandates and DOTP. To know more details on the advanced feature option, please reach out to your just space box. Click on proceed to go to the next step. A pop up appears asking uh, a pop up appears asking for the confirmation to enable the gateway. Please click on yes, enable it. The last step is the summary tab where it shows a summary of all the details that has been entered so, so far 
including the payment methods that has been co configured. Please review the details again and then click on the finish button. As you can see, we have successfully configured PhonePay Gateway on the dashboard and the configuration status is active. Hope you are clear with uh, the steps on configuring the PhonePay Gateway on the dashboard. Thank you for watching the video.